everyone, it's Nelda. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking this video. I hope you're all doing well. I am really happy that you're here with me today. I have a project share for you today and it is another journal. The paper pad that I use today is from Stamperia and it's called Orchids and Cats. It's a beautiful paper pad collection. Really pretty colors. I love working with this paper pad. I also use some of the trims that I have now available in my Etsy shop and this has the lavender, purple and pinkish color tone. I only use tiny bits of these trims to decorate the edges of the inside pages but the cover of the journal is fully embellished with this gorgeous lace fabric. Purple, lavender and soft pink are among my favorite colors and I really enjoyed making the journal so I hope that you'll like this too. So this is the journal. This is going to a friend of mine who is moving to British Columbia next week. I rushed this journal because I really wanted to give this as a gift to her. And I know that she can easily fill this with her own creations. She is a talented artist. She paints and she is into Bible journaling. And she loves cats. So that's why I chose the paper pad of uh, Stamperia the orchids and cats but she is not into junk journaling so I did not include the elements that I normally include in the, the journals that I make. I also left many pages blank because she will write on them and she will sketch on them I know and do her own painting and her sketches and drawings. So this journal is a little bit embellished with the laces and the die cuts but there is so much room to really embellish more and grow the journal and I really hope that she will like this as much as I do. Okay so this is the cover. You can see that I have here beautiful appliques and the base of the journal is uh, file folders as usual. It has three signatures. The Signatures are sewn, but the way I attach them to the cover is through the seam binding so they can also be detached. If she wants to sketch on the pages, she can do that very easily. The closure is Indian cotton fabric that is not attached to the cover. And this is a lovely ring just to add some bling. The cover is very sturdy. It has a base of several layers of file folders covered with quilt and this lovely see-through lace trim and these are seam bindings that I tea stained to hold the signatures together and I also use the My Porch Print Digital Kits. These are left over from my previous projects and then there are a few tucks and a few pockets. Again, most of the pages are left for her to do her drawings and paintings. Some of the pages are also tea stained but I did not distress the edges of the paper pads because they are beautiful on its own and again my friend is not really into junk journaling so I think that she liked this uh, just plain um, white is okay with her as well and her favorite color is also purple so I added some purple butterflies and some purple botanical die cuts. So I will do the flip through and play some music. Please stay with me till the end of this video. I'll be back and show you the kit that will be available in my Etsy shop and I hope that you stay tuned.
Thank you so much for staying with me and I hope that you enjoyed the flip through. I hope that you like this journal. Please let me know what you think. And if you are interested in the trims that I used in this journal, I have the kit available in my Etsy shop. I will provide the link in the description. The kit also includes wonderful die cuts and ephemera that you can use to decorate the journal. So thanks everyone for watching. Bye now. God bless you. Till next time.